Hello YouTube. Um, welcome all my viewers uh, that are viewing this video. Uh, this would be the second video of um, for my baton update, and this video will uh, cover two batons. Um, one is the same. One is the Banawi. The other one is a um, Asp Talonlock. And then we'll be covering a holder. Uh, this video uh, is unfortunately filmed in my laundry room, so it will be called Laundry Film Production. And I would first of all like to thank all my uh, viewers of the last video and all the comments they have posted uh, for uh, after seeing and reviewing the video, and for those who have also uh, taken my uh, trusty review of these batons and purchased um, I know some have purchased a Banawi baton and some have liked it and some uh, have some negative stuff to um, say about it um, but the stuff in general weren't too bad so I'm glad and I hope um, that for those who don't find the Banawi baton their thing uh, they will find another baton that fits them um, so, with my last video, I went through three batons. I went through the Monotnock Auto Lock, the uh, Asp Friction Lock Electrolis, and a Banawi 16 inch baton, uh, which is a um, similar to the Auto Lock, um, except it uses, uh, it doesn't use its bearings. Um, let me review here to see. So it uses a cam lock system, um, which is, I'm not an engineer, but I would assume it's pretty similar to the auto lock. Um, probably a different system uh, as far as the, the specific mechanism. And then we have the talon lock here, which is by ASP. And all going on the same theory of uh, being able to quickly deploy and uh, retract your baton easily. Uh, most with a button in the back and a button in the back here. Um, so this baton here, the Banawi, the new one I have, is a 20 inch and this is a 21 inch. Uh, they don't make a 21 inch as, I, as far as I recall for the Banawis. They go up to 24, 16, and 20. Um, of course the standard with ASP and Monotnock and some other uh, less well-known batons, they do 16, 18, 21, 24, and maybe 26. So, uh, what I want to update is that the, my last video was I didn't have a talon lock baton and that was something I could not review on and given that it was a little unfair to ask for me to review um, not to review something that was similar to the Banawi and the Monotnock and use a friction lock as a judgment to their quality of their batons <coughs> based on the different um, mechanisms that work off of that one worked off a of friction lock and then the Banawi and the uh, Monotnock the Banawi works off a of cam lock and then the Monotnock work, works off of a ball bearing <coughs> system so I recently purchased the um, ASP talon lock and that uh, helped me get an understanding of um, their version of a auto lock baton or a cam lock baton which they use they call it talon lock and I you know bought it uh, tested it out on some uh, practice bags some uh, uh, some other stuff like you know just tires and stuff like that just to see how it does and it did fine uh, as far as like if you look at it they have a lot of similarities they have the tip here which is like it's not a safety tip but it does protrude more than the general tip, like let's say the Banawi is 
a lot more protruded. So if you were to grab the tip and try to pull it to expand the baton, it's a little easier. And you can do that. But you can also do it with the banali. It You just need to grasp it a little more firm um, with a lesser surface area. The back side has the button and the button is good. Um, it's a little protruded compared to the Badawi and I cannot recall how much more is protruded compared to the Manatnak. But one thing I found good about the Asp Talonlock is that I did not have the same issues as I did with the Manatnak <coughs> when I had one. I'm going to expand this real quick. So with my last uh, Manatnak baton as I said the end segment here would collapse after you flicked it out and it would um, not lock so if you were to do let's say a jab or um, something like that where you're trying to deter somebody or get somebody back this part will collapse in this doesn't happen with the time lock it locks good um, the tip works good the tip has no problem and then the rest of the segments are fine the grip is if you can look at it, it's not as tactile as, definitely not as uh, much as the Mananak. The Mananak is way more coarse. It's actually a little less coarse than the Banawi. Um, if I can focus in there. So, one would assume that this baton's grip is less than uh, comparable to the Banawi. But that's actually not true. Um, I've play with this baton practicing with sweaty hands and even wet hand with water on my hands and it's fine I could hold on to it firmly and tightly and never had a problem with it um, attempting to slip out of my hands because of the uh, substances on my hand not so much of me gripping it tightly or not of course if I don't grip it tightly or I don't grip it properly then it's probably my fault for the baton falling out of my hands or flying out of my hands so that's a good thing. Um, so overall in my review after I bought it, I got this baton for about hmm, maybe about a month or two. Um, I found very little negatives with it. It's very comparable. It's very similar and to the Banali. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah. I mean as an as a alternative to the Banali, yes. If for some reason you don't like the Banawi because of its weight or something else, this is definitely a good alternative um, because it doesn't have the issues that Banatnak has and it has a lot of the similarities and benefits of a Banawi. And um, it's made in the USA, so I can't, can't say anything bad about that. Um, so the reason I bought another Banawi, um, in addition to my 16 inch Banawi that I have, the current one is a 20 inch, is because I'm just a big Banawi fan and I've probably mentioned in my last video uh, that I really like these batons. They're, to me they're really good batons. Uh, they, they feel very solid, like their composition feels very good. I love their grip uh, and you know when you when you do strikes or anything uh, for practicing or training it's very solid I, I don't have a problem with it the grip is great the weight depending on what you which one you buy <coughs> now I, I will say this for the uh, Banawi there's two versions of the baton there's the, alum, the aluminum and there's the steel now of course the steel is heavier the aluminum given is lighter I never purchased an aluminum Banawi baton, um, like this one when I bought it, I chose to go back with steel, and even my last baton, the 16 inch, was steel. <coughs> so I can't say too much about the aluminum if it's in any way um, bad because of the composition. Um, for those who have bought one, please let me know. Uh, I'd be more than happy to hear about it. At this time, I don't. <coughs> plan to buy another $200 baton even though I'm a big fan of Banawi. So I bought this one uh, about a little bit later maybe eh, a month 
after I bought the ASP Talonwalk. And the reason was um, I was messing around with the ASP and then I was messing around with the Benawi that the, the other Benawi I had. And I just can't get over how much I like the feel and everything of it. Um, but the other one was 16 inch. I use it mainly for playing close carry. Now this one that I bought, the 20 inch, is for duty carry. Um, I got it and I read the paper that came with it. And one of the things it said, I don't know if it said it in my last baton, um, was that the retraction of this baton, uh, the breaking in period, you might have some problems retracting it. <coughs> and they say to break it in, what you would do is you expand the baton and you'll start hitting a practice bag, tiger, or something like that to break it in. Um, when I first got it, <coughs> evidently it did have a little stickiness to retracting, but I did the recommended thing and it worked fine. So the quality of the baton I still say is fine. Um, I wouldn't call that a malfunction in that, you know, it, it's probably a breaking in thing more than it's a malfunction. So I would still give this baton a very high rating, at least to me. For those of you who um, may find that an issue where you have to break a baton in because you know you need it, you're very busy and you don't have time to uh, break the baton in, then an ASP talent lock is great because uh, I guess that's one of the benefits over Banawi, at least for the similar uh, weight and um, length baton, is that there's no breaking period for the ASP. I mean, you can buy it and go right ahead and, you you know, use it and the retraction or the expansion has no issues. Uh, this one I had a little bit, but it's a break-in thing, so I just did it. Um, every now and then I would hit my uh, training bag and just to break it in. And I don't mind that and I find that okay. <coughs> now, of course some would say, well, which one is better? Um, here's the truth. Based on after what I did, the, the reviews for these two at least, they're practically pretty head-to-head -head as far as their uh, dependability, quality, durability, and function. They both retract great, they both expand great. Minus the breaking in period, this thing retracts fine. Um, if you're talking about out of the package, uh, maybe an ask Talon Lock might be, uh, you know, a better solution in case this one you do need to break it in. Uh, they do say in there it's not a, it's not a malfunction or a defect, so don't send it in. Uh, you just break it in that way. If you continue to have problems, they do say send it in, which is of course uh, because then it becomes something other than a breaking period, and it needs to be looked at. Um, the Monot knock, um, I've re um, recently sold it to a friend because they wanted a baton but they didn't want to pay for a price so I gave them a good discounted rate on it. I did let them know about the problem so I wasn't cheating them on that. And they don't seem to have a problem with it um, as far as the function and performance of it so that's good. They have better luck than I do with, uh, with these batons. Now, I have the sheet here for Banawi as far as the um, you know when you buy it you have this informational sheet and there's some information on here that some people might find concerning and some some information that is what I've mentioned in my last video but I would like to bring it up because um, that way people can actually see for the sheet and you know have more than just my word to go with what I'm saying uh, as far as the maintenance use and um, even the manufacturing of these batons. So here's the sheet. As you can see on the top, it says 2021 uh, Banawi Camlock Expandable Baton User Guide. I'm only going to point out a few things. I'm not going to have you read the whole sheet. Uh, if you ever buy one, you'll get the sheet and you're more than welcome to read it. If you have any questions that you, you like, let's say you're planning to buy one, but you haven't bought one yet, but, and you don't have the sheet, you would like me to answer the question for you, 
type it in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer the question for you based on this sheet. So here's the one thing it does say in the beginning is um, important that you don't jackhammer the baton on the ground which is like slamming it on the ground like how you would close a friction lock because it will damage the mechanism in there. And of course now if you look here they put three stars next to the front and the back saying important do not disassemble the baton yourself. Okay, Regardless how mechanically inclined you are please avoid the temptation to take the baton apart. You won't be able to put it back together correctly reasonably is not considered a manufacturer defect and is not covered under factory warranty. So for those of you who are tempted to do so even after uh, my recommendation to not do so if you do and you cannot put it back they are not covered under factory warranty. Last time I said they would put it back for you and they will but uh, what I didn't say was they may charge you a fee for it and I don't know when you'll get it back. Uh, recent concern that somebody you know that I talked to uh, they brought up about the Banawi was that the um, possibility that it was made in China and the quality of the Banawi is questionable. Now based on my own experience using it I never had a quality issue or a reliability issue or a performance issue with these batons. So let's say if it was made in China, which we're going to go over that because it's actually said here on the sheet, I don't find it an issue. But here's what it says. <coughs> okay. Banawi has an authorized distributor in the People's Republic of China that will sell Banawi uh, products throughout Asia. However, all Banawi batons are manufactured and assembled in Germany. So I think what was heard was a misinformation, uh, at least for that person, and which is fine. Um, I'm not holding it against that person. Uh, but this sheet, after I bought my second baton, it cleared it up. It says, hey, it's still all assembled and made in Germany. So if there's a quality issue, it's not because it was sent to a different country to be made. Uh, it's just probably quality control was not... Um, done properly on that baton. Uh, so it also talked about a lot of other stuff as far as um, your, battle, uh, your baton rattling and um, just general information on this baton as far as stuff you might like to know. Um, you can put like accessories on this baton and of course it gives you repair information. Um, so, if you want to put accessories on it, like a light or something, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I think, uh, as, as far as it says, it does have accessories that comes with this. And now, one of the other things I was going to bring up was. Um, Let me see if I can find it. I was trying to show you the break-in period. In fact, I'm sure it says it here because I remember reading it. Um, I just need to find it so I can show you where, the, where it says the break-in period. Uh, oh, here we go. So, your new Banawi baton may be a little sticky at first and require initial break-in before it operates smoothly as possible. This is normal. The baton is not defective and you do not need to send you do not need to return it. We encourage you to forcefully uh, and repeatedly strike a heavy training bag or a rubber vehicle tire to wear in the internal surfaces. This will um, accelerate the break-in process and the baton will come smoother with use. So that was what I was, what I was talking about uh, when I first initially got my baton and it was sticky. And so this is right there it says on the sheet. So for those of you who are not comfortable with that 
and you want a baton right out of the bag to use, um, that's something to consider. Um, and it's, uh, I guess because the way they uh, manufacture it, everything is, I guess, really tight-knit, and there's so many more parts in there. I was reading uh, one of the comments on my last video that this person took it apart and has six, 56 pieces, five, six pieces, um, worth of, uh, worth of uh, pieces, mechanical pieces inside the uh, handle, and I don't know if they were able to put it back together, but um, that's how many pieces are in there for you to assemble if you do disassemble the back here. So that's why they highly recommend you don't do that. And but the funny thing I also well, is the funny thing I also found is that I don't know how it happened. Um, that person also mentioned about running it over with a vehicle, and it worked fine. So I was like, hey, that's great. Um, I never did that with my baton. Uh, if I ever do, I'll let you know. I drive a truck. It may or may not be heavier. So if I ever do, I'll let you know uh, how if this bat baton held up. The um, aft hand lock, like I said, great baton. I don't have too much more to say about it. Um, as far as negative, I really don't have that much negative. Outside of the fact, uh, it's not even really a negative. It's just that I prefer Benali. Um, well, I sell or give my ASP away? Eh, probably not. I'll keep it as a backup. My primary will still be my Benali. Uh, this will be for duty. The other one will be for plain clothes. Now, um, some people have mentioned on the video about holders um, for Banawis. And the Banawis holders, what I can say is that um, the swivel ones, I haven't bought that one yet, so I don't know. I currently, my um, holder that I use for this is a standard holder I, I attach to my Molly vest and I carry it on my vest. Um, I do have a ASP holder uh, for the town lock, which is not a swivel, it's just like a normal holder, but it's more for plain clothes and you can use it for duty. Um, it has a like clip on there. And then on the back side of the clip, or behind the clip, in the middle of it, it has this, well, let me see if I can show you better, it has this little block here, and you can move it up and down, and that will adjust to the width of your belt. So if you want to use it for duty, you may, if you want to use it for plain clothes, you may. And that's not, that's not an issue. The outside of it is just a standard baton holder, it's not swivel, it's nothing special. It does uh, have a hard shell, so it holds its form, so it's easily to be uh, drawn and holster reholstered. Um, this one I got for uh, I think it was like twenty bucks. Um, oh yeah, and the thing is that I bought this uh, asp, this asp town lock for about one forty-five, one fifty, with everything. Uh, price difference for the asp and the Banawi is still there's a quite a difference. It's about a $50 difference total price. Um, so if you want to look at uh, price wise depending on how your budget is, uh, ask or maybe a better option or you know if you like the Banawi and you're willing to put out the other $50 uh, you know that's an option too. Uh, last time I did mention in my video as far as purchasing. So to purchase a Banawi Baton as, as far as I know right now, there's two sites. Uh, one is uh, National Police Supply, which is the site that I originally purchased my baton from, my 16-inch. And it's also the site I purchased my 20-inch from, my 20-inch Badawi baton from. Uh, they seem to have the most in stock. I never had a problem with getting a baton from them, even my last one. And so they have the steel and the aluminum. Prices range about 160 and up. Um, the other site that I found recently was Baton Warehouse online. Uh, they sell the 20 inch only. Uh, they do sell the accessory like holders and stuff. But I've checked uh, not too long ago and they sold out. So if anybody wants to buy a Banawi, which I highly um, would not deter you from. Um, 
please go to National Police Supply. Now, I don't get anything from Banawi, nor do I get anything from these uh, vendors that sell it. I just know that these places sell it, and for those people who want to buy it, that's where you can go, and that way you don't have to go searching too far. If anybody find any other sites that sell it, um, please put it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to look at it. And, of course, the other people who want to buy it, they know where to buy it. Uh, as far as uh, selling to foreign uh, <coughs> outside of the United States, um, I don't know too much about that as far as if they're willing to sell to outside of the United States. So if you live in Canada, Europe, Australia, I can't answer that. Um, I know in California you need a permit to buy one. Uh, so if you're a California resident, uh, you need a permit to buy one. Okay, and... Last of all, um, is I didn't, I, so I covered uh, the purchasing, now I covered more, more information on purchasing, and um, one more thing I wanted to cover was the Okay, well, um, it's okay. I, I don't, uh, I, I don't. I think I covered everything. Maybe I just thought I had something else to cover. Well, uh, so I think that's it. And um, please, you know, if this video is you find it informational and you find it good, uh, please hit like. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you wish to. Um, get more of these videos. Um, I would do another review um, video for batons if a new baton comes out or if I have any <coughs> positive or negative changes about these batons that I would like to inform uh, the viewers about. Um, I again want to thank all the viewers for viewing my last videos. Um, that was actually one of the most popular videos uh, in our channel and I really uh, thank them for for that and I also uh, thank the people for trusting me if they did purchase a uh, Baton. So thank you very much for your support in um, in purchasing these batons if you do. Um, uh, like I say I don't get anything out of it but then again, you know, I still thank you for it because uh, I feel great that people trust my word in, you know, taking my word to buy these batons. And uh, for those of you who didn't have the best experience buying a Banawi baton, um, you know, please write it down on a comment and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll actually... Uh, we might be able to provide some uh, suggestions on how Banawi might want to improve their batons. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I'll hopefully uh, have another video for you soon. Thank you.